Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create unique social media follow button hover effects with Divi. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's give a page a name. So I'm going to call this unique social media follow. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So this is going to take us straight to the page which has the different options of how you want to design our page. So over here we have um, build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout and clone existing. So the option we need here is the choose a pre-made layout. So let's go ahead and select that. Right, so over here now we need a specific layout. So it's gonna be the, the app developer. Okay, so um, the one that we need is the actual home page. So we're gonna go ahead and select it, use this layout. Okay, so now our layout is on our page. So before things go wrong, uh, the one thing that I'd like to do here is to click on publish because this just makes sure that if the browser crashes or something happens, at least it's saved. Okay, so now that I have my page, the next stage now is to delete all these sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and start deleting these because the only section we're going to need is the one with the social media icons. So moving on, the next thing we're gonna do now is to save this section to our library. So I'm gonna click here, uh, let's call this social media, and we're gonna save this to the library. Oh, and I forgot to delete this one as well, so let that one go, okay. So for our first example, we are going to add a box shadow around the button that shrinks and hover above the button on hover. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but you know what, the best thing is to show you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click here on my module settings, and then I'm gonna click here on the Facebook icon. Next, I'm gonna come over here to background and I'm going to copy this background color. So I'm just using a shortcut, it's Command C. If you're on a PC, it's Control C to copy. Now let's head over to the design tab. So I'm gonna click here on design. And the first thing we're gonna do here is to go to our box shadow. So I'm gonna click here on box shadow. We're gonna choose our shadow style. So I'm gonna go with this one here. And then we just need to update all these um, settings. So we are going to start with our box shadow vertical position. So we're gonna start here at zero. And then I'm just gonna add my hover effect. So to do that, I want to come over here to this arrow and then make sure you click on hover. And this is where we add our value of minus 46. Right, so do you notice that um, right now as I'm on the hover tab, you can see that there's a shadow up there. And let me just show you there how it's working, see? Right, so the next thing here is to go to the box shadow spread strength, and uh, we're going to start over here with five pixels. So you want to come over here on this arrow here and just make sure that you have your both tabs open. Okay, so we're gonna start here with a default. We're gonna set this to five pixels, and then we're gonna come over here to the hover, and we are going to set the hover to a minus 16 pixels. And then finally, what you want to do is to come over here to the shadow color and uh, you want to add this RGBA value. So all you have to do is just drag the slider down and then just um, copy and paste these values. So that's what it looks like by default. And then when you hover, that's, what's, uh, that's how it's going to look like. So now it's time to add the styles to the rest of the icons. Well, there is a um, quick way to do this and this is by, this is by copying the styles and pasting them onto the other icons. So let me show you how to do that. So what you need to do here is to right click and then click here on copy box shadow styles like that. So we're just gonna go back over here and all we have to do now is to right click and paste item styles. So as you can see, as I'm pasting these, these are being applied to the rest of them. Great. And then finally, what you can do is to actually go into each and every one of these and change the colors. So let's say for the Twitter, for the Twitter color, and, and all these colors here are going to be linked to the post in the show notes below if you want to use the exact same colors. So let me show you how to do it on one of them. So if I come over here on Twitter and then click on design, box shadow, this is where I can change my color. So I'm just gonna click here on the eyedropper tool and then paste my color between the brackets like that. So I'm done here adding all my colors. All I have to do now is to save and save one more time and I'm gonna save the page. So now it's time to do the preview and let's see how this looks. So I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder and now you can see here animation as I mouse over them. Okay, so let's move on to the next example and this is changing color, size and shape on hover. So I'm gonna click here on Enable Visual Builder 
All right, so in our next example, we're going to be changing color, size, and shape on hover. So what I'm gonna do here is to click this plus button and add from library. So we're gonna click here on social media and bring up our social media icons that we saved the first time. So I'm gonna click here on my gear icon to enter my social media follow settings and I'm gonna start with Facebook. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click on background. So what we wanna start off with is a gray and then we want our social media color on hover. So I'm gonna start by adding my color here. I'm gonna paste it. And then I'm gonna click this arrow here, click on the hover tab, and this is where we're going to add our social media color for Facebook. So I'm gonna click here and paste my color. Okay, so as you can see here, it's gonna start gray and then it's gonna change the color on hover. So what you wanna do is to go to each and every one of these and add the gray color and then the social media color on the hover tab. So let me just do one more example. So I'm gonna come over here to Twitter. So I'm just gonna copy this because that's the color that's gonna be on the hover tab. Click here on this little arrow, click on the hover tab. And then back here on the default, this is where we're going to add our gray color. Okay, we're gonna go back again. So you want to continue doing that for the rest of these social media icons. So as you can see here, they start off with gray and then they change on hover. So next I'm gonna show you how to change the size of these icons. So for now, I'm just gonna save this and then I'm gonna duplicate this because we're going to continue with the same sort of icons. All right, so I'm gonna go back into my module settings. So let's head over here to our box shadow. So I'm gonna first click into Facebook design and then I'm gonna click on, on the box shadow. I'm gonna choose the style. So here I'm gonna start with my box shadow vertical position, set, the, set this to zero. Box shadow blur strength, set this to zero. Now over here on the spread strength, this is where we wanna make sure it's set to zero, but 10 pixels on hover. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon, click on hover, and I'm gonna set this to 10 pixels. Right, so now we can see that we have a shape around this. So the next thing we wanna do now is to add our color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and I'm going to add my value. So I'm just gonna paste my color in here. So as you can see here, this gives us the effect that the um, icon has grown in shape. So that's the uh, default and that's the hover. So again, if you want to apply the same effect to the rest of these social media icons, all you have to do is to come over here to box shadow and just right click and copy box shadow styles. Then next you wanna come back over here to your social media icons and then you wanna right click and paste the styles. So I'm gonna just do the rest of them. And then finally, you want to go into each and every one of these and make those changes. Just add your colors to match your social media icon. So I'm gonna click here on border. In fact, I need to go to box shadow. Then I'm going to click here on the, sh on the color and paste it in here. So you want to do the same for the rest of the social media icons. So go ahead and add that on Instagram, Dribbble and YouTube. Okay, so in our next example, we're gonna show you how to change the shape. So I'm gonna click here to duplicate this. And then I'm gonna click on this gear icon to go into my social media follow settings. So all we have to do for this here is to click on this gear icon to enter Facebook design. And for this effect to change the shape, we need to come over here to our borders. So right now we have 40 pixels. So we can actually change this to, let's say four pixels. So I'm just gonna add four in here. So you can see here that the shape has changed, but we want our shape to change on hover. So what we need to do is to again, come over here to rounded corners, click on this little arrow, click on hover. And this is where we're going to change our rounded corner, corner size. So I'm gonna add four here. In fact, I need four to all the sides. So you can see here, as I toggle between these two, the shape is actually changing. So all you have to do is to apply these same settings to the rest of the icons. So again, I'm gonna copy border styles, go back over here, and then I'm just gonna paste item styles. So after you've pasted the uh, item styles, the next thing you wanna do is to go in and change the colors as well. And then finally, we're gonna come over here and save. Okay, so the next effect is going to be the filter effect. So I'm gonna again click here on this plus button and add from library. Click on social media, so now I have my icons back. 
So what this filter effect does is basically it changes the color on hover on the social media icons. So let's go in and uh, make these changes. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to access my social media follow settings. I'm going to start with Facebook. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on design, filters. So what we're going to do again here is to use the hover effect. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. But what we need to do here is to make sure we're on the right setting. So we need to be on the saturation. So I'm going to click here on this icon. And on the hover state, we need to be at 100%. And on the default state, we need to be all the way down to zero. So you can see here that the color has changed to a to a gray. But on hover, the color is going to come on. So let's make sure that this is set to 100%. So now when I toggle between the two, you can see that my color here is changing. So the next thing we want to do here is to go to invert. So over here, again, we need to click on this arrow. So on hover, we, this has to be at zero. And then on default, this needs to be set to 100. Right, so let's see what happens here. So you can see now that uh, when, the, when the effect is on, this is what it looks like. So if you want to apply the same effect, all you have to do is to right click here, copy filters, and then we can go ahead and paste the filters here. Okay, so as you can see, my filter now has been applied to all these icons. All right, so let's move on to the fourth example. And this is where we get to do large colored icons with screen blend and filter effects. So let me show you how to set it all up. So I'm just going to save this for now. And again, we're going to click here on this plus button and add from library. And I'm going to click here on social media. So we're going to go into the settings here. And we are going to delete everything except Facebook. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to click here on background and we're going to start by adding a background color. So I'm going to add white as my background color. We're going to come over here to design alignment and we're going to make sure that this is centered. And then we're going to come over here to the filters and change the blend mode to screen. Now it's time to go into the actual social media icon. So I'm going to click here and click on this gear icon. So I'm going to start here with the background and we are going to change this color to black. Next, we're going to come over here to design. And then we're going to add some custom margins. So I'm going to start here with 10 to the left and 10 to the right. And over here on the padding, we're going to set this to 10. Now we're going to go to the saturation and add all our colors. So our saturation here are by default is going to be set to zero. So in fact, let's first click on this arrow here to, to enter our um, hover state. So our saturation here is going to start at zero on default. And then on hover, we're going to set this to 100. And then we're going to come over here to invert. So same thing, I'm going to click on this arrow. And our default state is going to be 100. And our hover state is going to be zero. Now, if you don't want a circle, what you can also do here is to go to your border and change this to four pixels on all sides. So that's how quickly you can change this shape. So now I'm just going to save my settings and then I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. So now you want to go into each and every one of these and change the social media icon. So I'm going to click here and this one here is Facebook. So let's change this to Twitter. Go back move on to the next one and we're going to change this to let's say LinkedIn. Next, you want to go back again and uh, make sure your background colors are set to black. So you need to do that to the rest of them. So once all these are set, the next thing we want to do here is to save. And then we're going to come over here to our row settings. So now we want to go to background and go to column one background color. So what we want to do here is to click on this plus button and paste our color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same color as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post to this tutorial. Okay, so moving on, now that I have my color, when we hover on this, we should see a shape come through. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save. So you want to come back over here to your social media module settings. And we're going to add some CSS because the goal here is to make our icons larger. So let's come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And on our CSS ID, we're going to set an ID of large icons. Right. So 
Uh, what we're going to do next now is to add a CSS code to this actual page for this effect to work. So to do that, I'm just going to save this. And then I'm going to come over here to expand settings and click on this gear icon. So this will give us access now to our page settings. Click on advanced, custom CSS, and now you need to paste your CSS code. So now you can see these icons are much larger. So all we have to do now is to save. And then you're going to save the page and do our final preview. Exit the Visual Builder. And now when I mouse over this, you can see that it's inverting the color. And this is nice and big. On our next example here, you can see by just mousing over these, it's showing our color. And then here, this is the shape. And then over here, we have the dot on the top. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.